68. Driven uh, by Andy Merrick, and Merrick, no warning of that at all. Well, he should have been warned. <sighs> That's and the front of the car shattered. is absolutely destroyed of the Zero car. Andy Merrick desperately trying to get that car restarted, but there's a lot of crucial components in the front of that Delta Wing. He's going to be very, very lucky to get that and car And now we back. go full course yellow. <sighs> And it has been, I mean, this has been a dream start for the Delta Wing. Emergency crews very quickly with that car. And Merrick oh. stamped on the brakes. And the PC car goes right up into the air. Three wheels off the ground there. And the driver of the PC car probably wouldn't have no idea that was coming. Apart from oh, the spotter saying, awful. hang yes. on, for goodness sake. Yeah, it's very, I mean, there's so much room there. I'm surprised, number one, that Andy wasn't told there was an incident. Driver is out, by the way, of the two, eight. two, I mean, you turn it pretty sharp left there. All you've got to do is straighten, up the, straighten out the wheel and turn turn right a bit and go. There's a big escape mode there, but that's so unfortunate. And, you know, <sighs> in these it's, in dust conditions, I'm surprised there wasn't a, a, a yellow more of a yellow that or you know, yellow lights or something to warn that's uh, that's most unfortunate uh, i mean just having been at uh, the abu dhabi event in december there are large marker boards kind of illuminated squares that I you can have you, you more than the formula one track road. and it needed well, perhaps one of those in the darkness i, no, uh, said uh, news. I came around the corner there's a car in the middle of the road well, you can hear me now. I've been talking to you the whole way down the front stretch, bud. And that's Timmy Keane on the radio to Andy Merrick. Andy Merrick has said, I came around the corner of the car in the middle of the road. Yeah. And Timmy Keane saying, I was talking to you all the way down the front straight. So, uh, again, that's uh, that's really unfortunate. There. The, the, as I suggested, there were spotters out there. They were trying to warn Andy. And as uh, Timmy Keane just said, you know, you could, I can hear you now quite clearly. Or you can hear me now quite clearly. Oh dear. Graham, just remind us which was the PC car involved? It was number eight car, the I believe. Eight car. Well, that was well run. The eight running car well up in and the, the driver car. was the indeed eight. running about fourth, I believe. I thought it was the and eight. They, they made a pit stop a little while ago, so I dropped back now, some. The best news Andy Merrick is out the car and walking yeah, away. Because that was a heavy, heavy That was heavy a big, effect. big hit. So I mean, clearly Andy's staying aboard to those, talk to the team. Those PC cars are, are light when you compare them to a big DP, but nevertheless, well, it's going to be a, you, a hefty shunt. You would not want to run into that thing at speed. To please, turf right? it up into the air, and it literally was up on one wheel for yeah. a second there, and slammed back down onto the deck. And actually, beg your pardon, the eight uh, driver isn't out of that car. There was a, I thought a moment when I saw the cockpit was empty. Here we go again, well, I'm afraid. A little Delta well. wing there, it weighs... I'm surprised it's going, oh, it's going awfully oh, fast. It's going awfully fast in any case, quite frankly. Yeah. But he clearly didn't see the yellow flags there, and unfortunately there's no yellow warning lights. There's one over there. There are lights um, in... What, what you need uh, is... Yeah, the, the little Delta wing, 520 kilograms is all that car weighs. The uh, P2, the uh, PC cars, 910 kilograms, almost twice as much. Yes. Yes, but it was, it was strangely oh, 